G'day everyone, Gareth here from Organic Growing Melbourne. Just a quick video on my citrus and the gall wasp. I just wanted to show you a, um, what gall wasp look like. I can't remember where I found the, found the branch. Okay, here it is here. So this here, see this swollen branch here? Hang on. See that swollen branch there? That's gall wasp. So for the purpose of this video, I'm taking this branch off. And there it is. And there it is right there. That's our gall wasp. See how the branch is all, that's the larvae, the wasp. Lays its eggs in there, they hatch. And then they feed off the sap which then starves this branch. And in real bad cases, the branch dies. Now you can treat them, you can spray your citrus, which is all good. But if you don't want to use chemicals, you can hang these things. But that's not to say it's not gonna trap beneficial bugs. And I had, as you can see, one two of them hanging on mine and it hasn't worked so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this the larvae of these little suckers that really really attack lemon trees um, my pomelo this is the pomelo I've taken this off my pomelo doesn't really this is just a tiny tiny case of gall wasp but I've seen lemon trees, which are so bad, the tops of the trees are all dying. And lumps like this, you know, sometimes almost a foot long. You know, this is top of my finger, top of my thumb length. But we'll go up, we'll go up the top and I'll show you these little suckers. All right, there's our uh, gall wasp. You can see the, how the branch was swollen. I'll cut it up for you so it's easier for you to see. But um, I'm gonna show you, so there's plenty of ways you can treat your gall wasp. Use all sorts of poisons. But again, I try and go organically. Um, if you've got a really bad case, I would suggest cutting everything back um, to beyond the gall wasp and discard of it, burn it if you can. Don't put this in the green waste bin, they'll still hatch and you're just going to spread them. So either chuck them in the normal bin or burn it, burn the hell out of them. All right, so here's a gall wasp, and what I'll do, I'm just going to try and get a try and do this so you can see this. If you've got a small case of them. I would recommend getting a vegetable peeler, potato peeler, and just peeling. I'll just, I'm not, I haven't got one, but I'm going to use a knife. And then just peel, start peeling the skin back. I'm not getting a very good shot here, am I? Like this. And I'll see if I can find some larvae for you so we can inspect it. And you'll know when you get to it. Because there's some little holes. See those little holes here? They're your larvae. In fact, I think it might even be moving. Possibly, I don't know. I'm not going to be able to focus to this, am I? I don't think I'm going to focus somehow. I might get the camera off and try and do this. All right, there is the larvae in there. See that little sucker here? There we go. That, oh, I just popped him, which isn't a bad thing. 
that was the larvae. And that's what they do. They, the wasps come in, lay their eggs in a branch, and then you get the eggs hatch, and then the larvae feed on the sap. There's another one, just got him out. And that is your gall wasp. All these little holes in here are where they've been living. There's probably another one a bit deeper down as well. What I'll do is cut into a bit more and see if I can find some more for you. Uh, I hope that sort of gives you a bit of insight on your gall wasp. They're horrible little things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And um, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, bye.